Good afternoon. Thank you for being here. And if you're watching right now, it's not a coincidence. It is not a coincidence in watching this video right now. So my beloved sisters and brothers, I want to encourage you that in the next 40 days, we are going to do a fast from sugar. I want to encourage you that uh, we are going to do this, no by our own strength, but by the strength of the Lord. And um, you're probably asking yourself, well, why are we doing this? Because the closer we get to Jesus, the more he abide in us. We abide in him and he abide in us. He lives inside of us and he wants us to be with him in a deeper way. We, he wants to um, be surrounded, not only around us, behind us, in our side, but he lives in us is within us and he asked sacrifice your body worship me with your body and I know a lot of you and that I include myself a lot of us walk upon this earth with so many needs and sometimes so many addictions and sugar could be an addiction and I'm talking for myself because every time I eat something, I want to eat something sweet. So as we decline that from our bodies, we're declining other things and greater things that we need to learn to say no and yes to Jesus. So as we gather here together, uh, I wanna do a covenant. No, we know with um, each individual but with the Lord and I'm really stepping out of my comfort zone because for those of you that know me I don't like this social media Facebook life so I want to encourage you every day for 40 days we're gonna come and pop up in here and we're gonna encourage you we're gonna encourage you as we walk together we have to do this together. And uh, Claudia um, is a sister uh, of mine. She's gonna pop in here too. And uh, we all going to interlock our arms and do this together. So I want you to prepare your minds, your body and soul. And most important, the Holy Spirit, just trust the Holy Spirit. He has gone ahead of you and he knows the words. He knows everything in your life. He knows your thoughts. He knows everything and he will walk with you. And all you have to say is yes. All you have to say is that he says, I am stepping in faith in the boldness faith that you have given me, Jesus. And I, I, I'm just going to do this. And I don't know how to do it. And I don't know where you're taking me, Lord. But I'm saying yes today. This afternoon, this time, this hour, I say yes to you. So I want to encourage you to please, if there's something in your life that you've been fighting with, we're about six months of 2020. And we enter in another half of this year. And I want you to just surrender everything and put it at the foot of the cross. And just surrender yourself. Surrender the I in you. Surrender the self in you. And just let the Holy Spirit be the, the guide and be the person because the Holy Spirit it is a person it is a living Christ in us 
that he will guide you and he will protect you. So I want you, I want us to read together Psalm 34 together. And um, if you haven't grabbed your Bible, uh, please, I want you to grab your Bible. I want you to, to, to get the book and be one-on-one -on -one with the book and be able to, to write notes and highlights and, and, and keep a journal as we enter in. Tomorrow will be the day that we're gonna enter, Monday. After midnight tonight will be that entering of those 40 days. Just like Jesus did in the wilderness. He entered 40 days in fast and in pray. In the only way, the only way he overcame those 40 days is through the word of God. So let's go to Psalm 34 and you should be there. Psalm 34. It says, verse 1, starting from verse 1. I will, extol, I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him and are radiant, their faces and never covered with shame. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his holy people. For those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desire to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips for telling lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attempted to their cry. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil to block out their name from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous persons may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones. No one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The force of righteousness will be condemned. The Lord will rescue his servants. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. So as we enter into these 40 days, as we enter into the wilderness, I'm calling out my beloved that we are going to enter 
these 40 days, and yet we will find resistance, we will find obstacles, we will find temptations, we will find everything of this earth that will distract us for not being abiding with Christ. But as we enter into these 40 days, the Lord has promised us that He will never leave us nor forsake us, that we are the head and not the tail, that He is above and not beneath. May you trust that these 40 days will not be under your own flesh or your own bones, but will be guided by the Holy Spirit, the one that died for you and I, the one that resurrected on the third day, and the one that will be coming and want you and I to prepare for his coming. So these 40 days, as we enter, we are asking the Lord, the Holy Spirit, to be with us in every day that we enter. So as far as, as, far as um, how we're gonna do this, uh, we have some supplies for you. We have your Bibles, we have your journals, and then we have this book, this book right here is the 40 days sugar fast. The book is not necessary for the 40 days. It has some chapters, 40 chapters, that you could read alone as you walk in the 40 days. But the most necessary thing that we need is our Bible. So this is just additional resources. I will be sharing every um, chapter of this book as we reflect on these 40 days. And I will uh, reflect in the Word of God as uh, the Holy Spirit guide me uh, where to go in the Word and to share that work with all of you. So I bless you today in this beautiful Sunday. I don't know where you guys are at. Where I'm at is raining. Uh, and it's a beautiful way uh, for the creation of God to receive the blessing of His rain. In the same way His creation received the rain, you, my beloved, will receive the blessings of His rain upon your life. Trust Him. Walk with Him. Be faithful. And just like I tell my sisters in Christ, in our Bible study, be the fat cheek. Fat cheek means faithful to one another, available to one another, and teachable to one another. So that's what it means, fat. Fat cheeks for the Lord. I love you. I bless you. And may the shalom be with all of you. See you tomorrow. Bye.